Hey, what's going on, Portal Masters? Robert Welkening here from CoinOp TV. Now, on this episode of Skylanders 101, I want to break things down with Crypt King, a new Skylanders Trap Master for Skylanders Trap Team. Let's check out some of his gameplay right now. I've got the edge. All right, Portal Masters, let's check out some Crypt King here. I got this cool little hat on him with a little. Looks like Robin Hood or something. I don't know why that hat just looks kind of cool on him. But let's check out some of his powers and abilities here. He's an undead new trap master. Traptanium Broadsword. Press the square to swing the Traptanium Broadsword. And then you can button mash a few times and actually get a combo. Not a lot of combo on some of the newer figures. The combo is kind of from the first game there. First game. The Swarm. You could shoot out these insects. Um, I've been calling them bees in my videos, for these insects that seek out the enemies, and they'll just go out and fight for you. The Haunted Sword. So you hold down the triangle to uh, unleash this sword, and you can actually move around and chop at people, but the problem is that Crypt King is in, uh, he's vulnerable when that sword is out. The Spectral Slowdown. The Broader, the sword, the broad sword. <laughs> these things are hard to say always. Super Swarm, so you can charge up your swarm attack. And then I went with the bottom path here, the Stunning Sting. I thought, you know, we'll go for the bees, right? S stir up the swarm. Hit the swarm with your Tractinian Broadsword to power it up. And that'll happen because they'll be around you. Uh, parasitic, Parasitic's power get healed by the swarm after they disappear. So that's useful. Get some healing. Enchanted Armor is the other path you guys may opt to go with. The Rich get richer. And com more combo attacks. Oh, the combos are hard to use. Here's a soul gem. Storm Swords. Critical hits cause the sword to rain down upon your enemies. So let's check out some Crypt King in action here. Now, originally, I was like a little on the fence with Crypt King. Because first of all, he's super slow. And, um, you know, Sky da Skylander Dad has actually pointed out that's kind of funny. They're making a Nitro version of Crypt King. Um, figure at um, Target because he's so slow that you know why would there be a nitro and he also kind of reminds me of Ignitor you know he's got the big giant sword but he also kind of reminds me of Doomstone a bit too because he kind of reminds me of, like a big giant like gladiator type of Skylander that just you want to just drop in like a gladiator ring and you know have him have him just brawl and go nuts, kind of taking out as many bad guys as possible. So let me get this uh, laser block through here so I can fight some enemies. Uh, let me show you some of the attacks. Here's a sword. Boom! There's a little combo right there. You can see the sword's got like a little red trail to it. Here's the uh, broadsword in action and I can actually move it around almost like a puppet pulling the strings. Here's the insects, so you shoot those out, and you can shoot out a couple, and see they're glowing, see my sword gets all red, <laughs> and let me charge up the insects, and now you get like even a crazy, <laughs> I, I let's just say that's kind of like a horror movie, I wouldn't want that grouping of insects right there ready to uh, take me out. All right, Rage Mage, you're about to go down, and so is your croonies here, because I got Crypt King. See, my sword is glowing because I'm a trap master. I'm going to be a little more powerful. There's some other swords, my little broad swords, coming down to inflict some extra damage. Uh, you can see he is just a beast overall. These villains are going to be no problem at all. I actually played a lot with Crypt King in some of the harder levels. Let me get the Beast Swarm on these guys. So you could shoot it, and the Beast Swarm will actually... Just go out and seek seek the villains for you. There's the big giant swarm. Let me go and hit that so I can power up my sword, get some juice going. Uh, it's kind of like a lightsaber. I feel like, you know, Luke Skywalker here fighting Darth Vader. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't even have to wait for that villain to come on down to slice him. Okay, let me run over here and get my little broadsword in action. I still haven't figured out what attacks the mage rage, the rage mage, I can't even say it, does these villains, but he's pretty worthless. You can just kind of move this sword around and take him out pretty easily. Rage mage. Rage mage. Okay, I'm not going to capture him. I've already beat him a couple of times. This is a good level, though, to, to go ahead and demonstrate some of the abilities here. What else? How about some more bees? Go ahead and get that going. Boom, look at all those swords. Man, there was like about eight swords that just dropped down right there. So you can see I already I took care of the enemies in pretty pretty much one full swoop. 
Can't wait to go get my hands on Nitro Crypt King also so I can do a video showing that variant. So let me know what you guys think of Crypt King. Hit that thumbs up if you're a, if you're a fan of the bees. Look, it's like his whole head comes out right there and opens up. I gotta find out what the story is. Apparently, um, he was originally gonna be a giant. It didn't work out to be a giant, so they were like, you know, let's just make him a trap master. So that's that's how he came about. All right, portal masters. There's a quick look at Crip King. Originally, I wasn't too jazzed about Crip King. I thought it was gonna be real slow, but he's real strong, real tough, and I just love slicing away with this big giant sword there and shooting out the little bees. So let me know in the comments below if you're gonna pick up Crip King. And also if you get Crip King, let me know in the comments below which path you go with when you level on a muff. For CoinUpTV, that's it for this episode. We'll see you Portal Masters next time.